Hi and welcome to Home Tech Adventure. How do you delete an account in Mac OS? What if it says you can't delete the account? What if you've even forgotten the password? How do you delete the account then? I recently had these issues and I solved the problem and I want to show you how that's done. For those of you that want the short answer, the short answer is that you need to log into each account in Mac OS after a major system update before you can delete the account. For the rest of you, stay tuned for the details. Here in Mac OS X on the login screen we have three accounts. Amuamua was here for a time for a visit but now it has gone. Shooting Star is just a temporary account like a flash in the sky and the Moon is the account that we want to keep. It's going to be here for a while. Let's log into the Moon account and delete the other two accounts. The account that you keep that deletes the other accounts needs to be an administrator account and the Moon is an administrator account. Now that I've logged into the account, let's go to System Preferences and we want to click the Users and Groups. I have to click here to make changes. It needs to be authenticated. I have to put in my password. Now I can make changes to these accounts. To delete a user account, and this is the instructions on all uh, all the websites and all the searches get you this instruction. You just click the account and then down here there's a minus sign. Just click the minus sign and you have options here on what you can do. For this purpose, since this was a temporary account, we're just going to delete the whole, whole thing. Delete user and that one's gone. Simple, right? What if I try to delete the Amuamua account? I do the exact same thing. I click the minus sign. I, uh oh, wait a minute. I need the Amuamua password. I don't know the Amuamua password and I contacted Amuamua and Amuamua doesn't even remember the password for this account. So I don't know the password for the account. Hmm. What if I can reset the password? Let's try that. Let's reset it to something really simple that I can remember. In case you were wondering, I'm setting it to 12345 because no one would think of that. There we go. Little hint on the password. Oh, okay, wait. It didn't let me reset the password. Now there's a reason for this. In Mac OS, after a system update, every user needs to log in and kind of verify or vet the account through the Mac operating system. If that isn't done, the account isn't really usable or doable or, or anything like that. So we're stuck with this account. We can't log in. I can't do fast user switching. Now, if if you have the password, you might be able to do it with just the password, or if you need to log into the account, you might do fast user switching and log into the account here, and then you could delete the account after you've logged in and then log back into the Moon account. You could delete that account, but we don't have the password, so we need to reset the passwords. So to do that, we need to enter recovery mode. To enter recovery mode, you have to restart and hold down the Command and R keys while it's restarting and that will enter recovery mode. Now a little bit of word of warning. It takes a long time to get the recovery mode up and going. So hold down the command and R keys until you see something going that suggests that it's booting up and then just go away for a while and do something else and then come back and you should be on the um, recovery mode login screen or recovery mode screen. Let's restart. And I'll do that and we'll come back when I'm at the uh, screen for the recovery mode. Now that I'm into the recovery mode, I can choose to reset the password by using the utility here called terminal. In the terminal, all you need to do is type in reset password. No spaces. And it'll go through its thing and it'll bring up this dialog box for resetting the password. Select an admin user you know the password for. Now I don't know why my other account doesn't show up, but it really doesn't matter. We can just choose forgot all passwords. And then let's set the password for Amua Amua to something simple. We'll choose the one, two, three, four, five again. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll put in the same little note to remind us. And then let's also set this password to make sure it gets set. I'm just going to set it to what I normally have the password at for this account. And hint normal. Okay, so that resets the password for that account back to, it's the same password I've always had. So just click set password. Now the passwords are reset. You can't, you forgot a password and reset. Your user account password has been reset. You may restart and sign in using your new password. So we're going to do a restart. And because this is a recovery mode, it's gonna take a long time to restart. So we'll skip here and I'll come back when we're at the login screen. Back at the login screen, you might be tempted to just sign in as the moon and delete a mua mua, but you can't do it yet. You need to log into a mua mua first. Let's put in that simple password that we put in there. And here is why you couldn't delete the account earlier. When the system is updated, the Mac OS does a major update, you have to go through all of these questions before you end up getting a valid account that can actually be deleted. We're just going to set up later on all of these things because we want to delete the account. But you have to go through all of these things and you can see it says setting up your Mac and that's the only way. You have to vet this account or it's got to be verified or whatever. Now that this account has been logged into and it's been set, we can just log out of the account um, or we can do a restart. I think maybe a restart would be the best option. So let's do a restart and I'll come back when we have the login screen again. Back at the login screen again, now I can log in as the moon. Now we should be able to delete this account, that Amuamua account. Go to System Preferences, click on the Users and Groups again, click the lock and put in your password. So that's verified. Now if I click this and click the minus sign, enter the Amuamua password, that isn't right. But let's allow, let's enter that password. And now it lets us delete that. And we can delete the entire thing. Hopefully now you have the confidence you need to delete any account in Mac OS, whether it be administrator account or normal account. The methods that I've shown you should work for all of those accounts. The only exception might be with a greatly corrupted account or perhaps if the disk is corrupted. In that case, you may need to reinstall the operating system or even replace the hard disk itself. Hopefully you had some fun today. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on some more Home Tech Adventures.